you do not need to spend a lot of money on props and material to create striking images. As with many things in life, just throwing money at something does not result in creative solutions. Your challenge? Get creative with $20 or less. Make a stunning image without breaking the bank. Go to your local craft shop, wander around, look for elements and things that inspire you. Allow your mind to roam free and envision how an object in a craft store might transform into a striking image. Or go to Etsy, to eBay, other online merchants. See what you can discover within this budget. When I was first trying to get more creative as a college student, I'd give myself a $20 budget and then head over to the local craft shop. I would look at gems and paint and branches and stickers and faux flowers and decorative beads and whatever items were out on the shelf that season. In fact, I even created an entire image by attaching ornate felt ornaments to the side of a girl's face and they were actually intended to decorate potted plants. So just get creative. And I've created beautiful body adornments that were intended to decorate shrubbery. Look at the items around you and see what strikes you. And when you find an unusual item, try to define what draws you to this object. Is it the texture? Is it the color? If you can define what makes it interesting to you, then you can transform it into an image. How can you showcase that feature in a photograph? So let's go see what I came up with for $20. So today, my idea for shooting for $20 or less is actually to make a prism to shoot through. So this prism is going to open up entire worlds of creativity. I can shoot out on location, I can shoot in the studio, and what it's going to do is, in camera, it's going to repeat my image tons of different times, all these different directions. And I like to get creative in camera a lot because when I can see it in camera, it gets my mind and my inspiration flowing. Then I perfect the image in post with Lightroom CC or Photoshop CC. So let's take a look at what I made. What I've created, I actually created not for less than $20, but actually for less than $10. I've purchased three mirrors that are intended to decorate tables and each one was $2.99 and we've taped them together with gaffer's tape to make a prism like this. And as I peek through this prism, as I put my lens through this prism, each angle is going to make a different result. Each different lens that I choose is going to capture different reflections. So now what I can do is I can hold my lens in the prism or have someone else hold the prism and I can shoot through it. You can shoot this on location, you can shoot this in the studio, and it really makes you see and think differently. And that's why I believe in a good combination of getting creative in camera and in post-processing. When I see something in my camera's lens, it makes me think more creatively, it inspires me, and then I finish and perfect the image in post, whether that's in Lightroom CC or Photoshop CC. Let's take a look at what I can get with this prism. And in fact, we've actually made a slightly larger one to make it a little bit easier. The larger it is, the larger lenses you can actually fit in the prism. The lighting that I have here is a Profoto D1 Air 500 watt, and in fact, I have three of them. The main light is a 20 inch white beauty dish with a grid, and it's raised up to help create nice shape and sculpting to her face. And because she has such interesting gems on her eyes, what I want to do is I want to pick up the color of these gems. So I've added a pink gel and a teal gel, and these are going to show up on the side of her face and in the shadows of her face. When I shoot through the prism, it's going to create something really beautiful and really surreal. Notice as I change my focal length, as I change the position of the lens, as I change the position of the prism, each image is going to be completely different. Also, my lovely assistants wanted to show me what they could do with $10, and they made me an avant-garde headpiece out of cardboard and aluminum foil. And of course, you have to be a bit crafty to do this, but these really amazing headpieces, if you're talented in building things, if you're crafty, you can create them yourself on a very small budget. Right now I'm shooting with a Canon 5DS with a Canon 24-70 lens. And so this is going to give me a lot of detail and also a lot of flexibility because it's a zoom lens. I can change the zoom of my lens for different perspectives and different types of reflections. All right. Beautiful, that actually looks really cool. Cool. I 
I'd like to take a moment to tell you about one more Adobe application that allows you to tell your stories. It's called Adobe Voice, and in this mobile application, you can create slideshows that are both entertaining as well as educational, and it is incredibly easy to use. So let's say that I wanted to create a slideshow or a video for my story about working with $20 or less to create an interesting photograph. You can pick templates. You can then drag and drop icons or photographs. So let's say that I want to add a camera to start off my story. You can search the database for these icons. And then if I have something to say, all I do is hold the record button. So I'm able to add another element to my stories. And of course, I can add photographs, I can change the layout to add multiple photographs, and I can grab those images right from my Adobe Lightroom mobile catalog. And so I can grab multiple photographs, perhaps from my $20 or less catalog. Okay, so what it's going to do is it's going to give me a video that I can share on social, I can upload to a video account like YouTube or Vimeo, or I can simply share with friends and family. I can use this for any purposes that I want, whether it's sharing family photographs, telling a story about a recent vacation, or sharing my portfolio. Let's take a look at a video that I was able to create in under five minutes that tells my story and uses my voice. Let's take a preview. A lot of people think you need a lot of money to get creative, but actually you just need creativity and resourcefulness. What can I make with cardboard and tin foil? I can create a beautiful image and avant-garde headpiece. And what can you make out of a couple dollars worth of little mirrors? A prism to make beautiful and creative beauty images. So what do these two images have in common? Yes, they're beautiful. They both cost less than $10 a piece to make, saving you money. And now I can quickly and easily share my story, share my voice online. Yet another great way and completely free mobile app that I was able to use on my iPad to share my images. And now I'm going to email that story to myself so I can share it with others.